Testing one, two, testing one, two. Free lube, bitch. Last week I turned the page to 24 And ain't shit changed Except the stress is even more And I shouldn't complain But it's just that I want more And I shouldn't complain But I know I deserve more Last night I threw a party So excuse my home decor I've never had love From 0 to 24 And I've been getting high For the sake of being poor Free little bitch Pull up, I wanna take a ride to the deep end Late night I want something to sink my teeth in Late night I want something to find release in uh, uh. Be my god, babe Can you handle the darkness and try to keep me tame? Would you get in the field with me? Run the car She's never one-sided cause I'ma pull my weight And you said fuck the fame I can't fuck with nobody, can't even see the world Have you experienced any ageism with us in public yet? I mean, not really. Not like nobody's been bold enough to say some shit. I don't think anybody would be bold enough to say some shit unless they really want to, they ask me or something. Hey! But I feel like I, I see some looks sometimes like people try to figure us out. Like you don't you don't catch that vibe sometimes? Yeah, yeah. They like I'll like, walk by somebody and then I can just tell they're looking at us like just trying to figure out like what are them two doing together? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I catch that. Especially in the gym. Yeah. yeah. The gym and yeah. even when we on the belt line and shit. For real? Yeah. Hmm. There's a lot of nice people today that we ran two miles on the belt line, y'all. <gasps> make my old ass run two miles. He trying to get me in shape. He trying to make me like a little dessert. Y'all seen that first part of the video where I was shirtless? Yes! No comment. All right, then go ahead about the ageism. We're mainly talking about age gap relationships. Age gap relationships. So, so guess what the top 10 age gap relationship cities are in the United States. Could you guess number one? Probably like somewhere in Florida. Because they don't give a fuck in Florida. <laughs> Yeah, they don't give a fucking book. Nah, they don't give a fucking book. Damn, you right. Miami, Florida is number one. And in Orlando is number two. I'm telling you, they don't give a fucking Florida. How about Miami? the ATL? Where the ATL at? AT, I feel like the ATL just a bunch. They got a bunch of sugar daddies. Do they, they got a bunch of sugar daddies. Mm -hmm. See, my thing is, bro, like. <clears throat> ATL is number three, by the way. ATL is number three. I'm attracted to older guys. Like, I don't. For real? Yeah, like, I don't discriminate, bro. I really don't discriminate. I probably, like, it just depends, bro. Like, if the vibe is there, the vibe is there for me. Um, if you fuck with me, I fuck with you. That's the type of time I'm on. But I feel like some people, you know, some of the young dudes, they be out here hunting for the for the older guys. Older for real? That's the thing now? That's the thing? Just because, like, you know they got bread. Some people are just gold diggers, and they'll go get them a sugar, sugar mama, sugar daddy, whatever. And that's all they be content. That's how they live. Huh? Exactly. That's females crazy. too. Females the same and way? females. That sugar daddy, sugar mama, that's just a ticket, bro. And these young people these days, they don't give a fuck. So, so why do you think like older guys fall for that? Like what or older women? Why do they they feel like they feel like they can get someone? Or? See, I just think Cause I, the youngest. I, I'm quite older than you. Yeah, and I didn't feel that way. And I, I just ain't. think the youngest know how to play the role, bro. I just think they know how to play the role. And I mean, you, not you, every situation is love, like just true, true love. You know, true, some people true. just some of these sugar mama sugar daddies just want company. Speaking of care. speaking of, so we just had this sugar mama back where I used to work. And uh, she would give brothers four wheelers to fuck her. Give them what? Four wheelers. <laughs> Pay their bills or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was ride or die. Mm. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Yeah. And, and she was, like, maybe, like, 60-something. And these, these guys were, like, 20, 20 25. Mm-hmm.
And I think also just like young people, just it's so materialistic these days. Like everything's driven yeah, around material real. things. Oh, yeah. So it's like if I can fuck this older man, older woman to get me just some designer clothes, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm a fucker just for some clothes type shit. Like it's that serious. And it don't even it's that serious. Like I like females. Oh, I'm gonna let this sixty year old man fly me out just for a weekend in fucking LA or whatever. That's just it's just culture. I mean, it's just everyone's so so hungry for that image, for that clout, bruh. And money money drives that shit. So, you know, they chase after it. Whether it's love or not. So interesting fact guys. Uh we learned that interracial couples mm-hmm. are more common in same sex relationships. What do you think about that? Um, I don't know. I just think gays are more free, bro. Like, more open you're already minded. gay, so it's like more open minded. Yeah, you know? more open minded. You're already gay, so it's like you've already probably not what your parents want or expect. So it's like it ain't shit to you know keep that shit going. Like a traditional heterosexual relationship, you know that. It comes from a lineage, you know. You kind of some some people feel that pressure to stick to the stick to the script, but when you're gay, usually your father isn't gay, your mother isn't gay. Hell no, so my mama like, didn't. Both of them were hoes. Exactly. Well, I'm <laughs> God rest in peace. Both of them were hoes, though. So, but it's like you already done done fucked up the script. So it's like you might as well run with what you really like. Truly. You know, I feel like a lot of heterosexual people just, I mean, a lot of people are happy, but a lot of people will settle just because they feel like this is what they're supposed to have. You know what I mean? Rather than, so so why they, do they feel that that's what they're supposed to have? That's how they were raised? Yeah, that's how they're raised. That's how they're, you know, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of pressure from your parents. I agree, guys. Who out there has felt a lot of pressure? My mom and daddy was like, you going to be a doctor? Mm-hmm. And that's what I went to school for. Got a bachelor's in biology and, and thought I was going to be a cosmetic surgeon because of what my parents wanted me to be, for real. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Hmm. That's deep. That's deep. And I turned up totally opposite. Totally opposite. Um, so have you always, like, for me, I know I've always... I'm I'm not really as attracted to my race of guys as really? I am other races. Like I wouldn't. Why is that? I don't know. I think it might have something to do with how I grew up. Like I grew up around mostly like my high school was basically all white. So so we grew up two totally opposite lifestyles. My life life was basically around you know people of color. Mm-hmm. Different races, different races, but not really white for real. So I don't know. I think I think it just has to do with my roots, or just like yeah, all of us like where I come back to your roots for real, guys. So if you got kids out there, get them started right. You know what I'm saying for real. And it ain't even really about getting them started right. I feel like it's just like put them put them in all as a kid, put them in every environment that you can. Oh, absolutely. And see yeah. which one they draw towards. Absolutely. And don't know. don't force anything on your kids, guys. Guys, my son is eight years old, and he is so athletic. Do you think I don't want him to play basketball or football? But I ain't going to bring it up. Mm-hmm. He, he wants to be an actor, and that's what he wants to do. I mean, mm-hmm. it is what it is. And my dad was a professional football player, and mm-hmm. not once did he pressure me to play football, which was That's dope. really cool. That's dope. Like, I played soccer. That was my main sport was soccer growing up. I mean, I wanted to Which one did you like the most, soccer or football? I think I was better at football. Yeah. I think... So, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I, I think your highlight reel. I just right. never even... Like, I didn't even really like football, honestly, up until... I just started playing. So, uh, but soccer, I grew up playing soccer. That's a lot of cardio. I can't be doing all that. Mm -mm. 
I just kind of want to ask you what, like, how did, when you were younger in your, in your younger years, say mm. like 18, no, let's, let's say like 21 to 26 years old. I, I didn't come out to 23 now. I didn't come out to 23. Okay. Well, let's just say 23, 26, 23 to 26, 27. All right. All right. In those four years, what, 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 what? Was the what was the oldest age of a guy that you would date? I wouldn't date anybody older than me. In those years, mm -hmm. nobody. Hell no. Mm -hmm. Would you hook up with anybody <clears throat> older than you? Not even like a year old. <laughs> nah, I mean a year or two was okay. So like, but if you were guys, I was young and dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like just so naive to morals, I guess. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just. I like, feel like most though, young guys are just like totally against older guys. Unless they're looking for a come up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Would I mean? would have to agree with that. Um, I mean, for me, I mean, I want to talk about you, though. Oh, okay. We'll get we'll get back to, to me. We'll back to me. All right. But like, so like, how did you view older guys in your day? Like, I mean, there's a preference for everyone. Oh, there's a preference love. for everyone. Like, did you think it was disgusting? Like, why, what made you, like, were you not attracted to older guys? Like, just what was it? Like, so, yeah. Um, I was not really attracted to older guys. I was more attracted to younger, skinnier guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just, it just didn't, the only time that I messed with an older guy and this is so personal, guys. <laughs> um, it was just to pay my mama's bills one time, for real. And uh, mm -hmm. he was a lawyer, and I was 20, just come out, 23, 24, and um, went over to his house, super nice guy, and he's passed away now mm -hmm. from cancer. And, and I just had like this empathy, like, I knew he was gonna pass away. Was he ugly? <sighs> like, I know you weren't trying to go to this. Let's just say it was, it was a completely dark room and I couldn't see him at all. And I just fucked him and that was it, you know? Yeah, and he, he gave me my bread, you know? Mm -hmm. And that was, it was, it was like, Three bangs, three bangs, yeah. And I and I went home and paid my mama's light bill and shit. You know what I'm saying? I do what I had to do. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. But yeah, I've never like been attracted to older guys, which I should have been because the older guys had their shit together. You know what I'm saying? Usually, most of the time. most of the time they had their shit together, and and, and they experienced stuff and they could teach you something. I'm all about. What can you teach me? What can I learn from you? That's what's going to treat me. Mm -hmm. And what it treat me about you was music. How in depth and in tune with the music and how talented you were. You know? So that was that wasn't my attraction to you. It wasn't necessarily your age or yeah. or anything like that. Just the vibe on music and stuff like that was what really attracted me to you. See, when I met you, I don't even remember like asking you how old you were. I don't know. I'm glad you did. It's just because, like, for me, like, I, lied. I just know I was always attracted to dudes older than me. Well, hell, if I'd have known that, I would tell you the truth. Yeah, like, I don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck? <laughs> nah, they can be 60 with gray, nah, nah, gray 60. hair and sacking that see, 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 I wouldn't get serious when I'm 60 year old. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like, go down We can chill, though. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta listen. You want to go down to their knees and, and pick those nuts up and clean them out? Yeah, he like hairy dudes. I ain't even saw that. Y'all didn't saw that? I ain't even saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like didn't know. smooth I didn't, as butter, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know this was going to get to all that. I thought oh, okay, my bad, my bad. Guys. All right, we're going to get back on topic, guys. I'm sorry. So you... you You've only been with older guys? So, like, 
hooking up, honestly, I usually it was usually guys older than me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You you got guys. He is very mature for someone that's twenty six years old. Niggas can't fuck with me. Like, he got an old ass soul for real. Like he can cook, like old school cook. You know what I'm saying? His mama did him right. I just always felt like dudes couldn't fuck with me that was my age, bro. Like we weren't on that same timing, bro. Like mm. you, you do have an old soul for real. Yeah. You, you very mature to be 26 years old, for sure. But I see, I see more and more like age gap relationships. Like over the internet, social media, and that type of stuff. Just like as time goes, goes there's, on there's a lot in my family alone, as far as significant gaps mm -hmm. in married people. Mm -hmm. For real, more just, more than our age gap. Bro, you just yeah. gotta find what makes you happy. Oh yeah, whatever makes you happy, bro. Like yeah, yeah. Because even I resisted like with you. I resisted a little bit. In the what you mean? What you mean? Let's elaborate. In the no, I, I mean we both like I told you like in the beginning. Like I don't, I don't know. Like you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, that's hey how it's true. It's true. I, I was, oh, I told him the truth, y'all. So, so honestly, y'all know the story. If you have watched our shows, a free loop, free loop, uh, bitch. We met on Grinder, obviously, and. um I lied to him about my age. You know, people be lying. People be lying on ground. And and I said, I how old I said what? Thirty-five. I thought I said thirty thirty-five. Okay. Yeah, I look thirty-five, I don't know. No comment. You believe it? I did. You believed it, didn't you? Uh-huh. Mm. Believed it. Until you told me otherwise. <laughs> So how did that make you feel when I told you the truth? Because I had to tell the truth, guys, because we were getting serious and stuff, and we didn't expect to get serious. So I had to, like, come out and tell the truth because I felt guilty. Yeah, I mean, it didn't make me mad or anything. I understood why you what, told me What'd your me family your say? Age. I understood why you told me your age, why you told me you were 35. Like, you didn't know me. It was grinder, like it wasn't no. Face oh yeah, face it was just it was just supposed to be a one night stand for sure. So I mean, I understand that, like that shit really ain't no big deal. I mean, yeah. you told me once we started getting serious, so it was like, all right, cool, bet, cool. But me being me, it wasn't nothing to me because I'm cool with that shit. Mm. <laughs> mm. But uh, yeah, the family was a different story. I mean, it's cool though. Seventeen years. Oh. oh, he telling my age. Y'all hear that? Sh they don't know how old I am or how old I just said you 26, homie. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we got to be real for him, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm older than hell. For it's those of y'all who don't give cannot a fuck. calculate, I am. Bro, nobody. Am fuck them. They don't give a fuck. How old am I? They don't give a fuck. I forgot how old he is. Oh, I'm 43. 43. But yeah, so I mean, with the family, it was just concern, you know. Which it, uh, which it should be, because if some older lady was approaching my son, I'd be the same way. Like, what the hell you want with my son? You know what I'm saying? Like, at first, the first thing, I think they thought, like, you were a sugar daddy. I ain't got no sugar. You think I got some sugar? They don't know that. Hey. <laughs> and I mean... But it, it just is what it is, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, it just happened naturally, for real, and that's how it should happen. You should have had to force anything, guys. If you if you meet somebody, you gotta force something or change who you are. Then that's not the right fit for you. Period. Yeah. It don't matter the age, bro. Yeah, it don't matter. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna get old as fuck one day, have a walk, or he'll be wiping my ass and changing my diapers. But it's cool. You know, you do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Is that too far? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't 80, you motherfucker. Hey, I'm going to 80. Um, All right, y'all, we're going to start a little trivia. For every show, so we're getting close to the end. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. But, um, so you want to go first? Um, So basically, we're going to ask each other a question. Same question for each of us. 
and A, B, C, D. There's multiple choice. Yep. Um, if you get an answer wrong, you take a shot. If you get an answer right, what are we drinking? And then nothing. What are we drinking? And then what's the name of that? MJ's favorite Jameson. Just so y'all know, that's not my drink of choice. But he loves that shit with some Sprite. Jameson nah. and Sprite. Make oh, it, yeah. it make it cooter come, boy. Okay. No? You don't have one of those? Mm -mm. Mm. Well, see, what had happened was, who is my favorite artist? A. If y'all get it right, let me know. Y'all get it right. Let me no, know. it's not them. It's Luke. But I want to know what they going to say, too. Is it Luke Combs? Cody Johnson. Y'all, I like country. I like country, but I'm going to throw something at y'all. Y'all ready? C, Rascal Flash. Y'all don't even know what that is. D, KC and JoJo. So A is Luke Combs, B, Cody Johnson, C, Rascal Flats, D, KC and JoJo. C, Rascal Flats. Damn. Yeah, you right. You right. <laughs> All right, who is my favorite artist? A, NBA Youngboy. B, Juice World. C, Kodak Black. D, Lil Peep. Mm. It's either Juice World or Lil Peep. Am I right? Is it Juice World or Lil Peep? Bro, you're giving me two answers. I know, I know. Like, this is a tough you question. You have to give me one answer. I'm going to say Juice World. Okay, correct. Yeah. Rest in peace, Juice World. Rest, Rest in, peace. in peace. All right, second question. You go. All right. Second question. What is my favorite song dropped in the past year? Mm. A, Go by Lil Papa. B, Break With Me Part 3 by Ken Tay. Uh -uh. C. You picked your own song? <laughs> it might not be the answer. It's just in my. What was it again? A. Go by Lil Papa. B. Break with Me Part 3 by Ken Ted. Oh, you love that song. C. I'm the Shit by Sexy Red. D. Thank for You by Rollo Rodriguez and No Cap. I'm going to say C. Correct. Yeah! <laughs> I just guess it was a close one. It was a close one. Yeah, shout out sexy red. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, favorite song dropped in the past year from me. Y'all gonna be like this boy country as hell. He look good, but he country as hell. All right, <clears throat> so this ain't hit yet, but it's gonna hit. Lies, Lies, Lies by Morgan Wilder. She's only on YouTube. It's only on YouTube. It's coming out, though. Like, Morgan Wilder, you better put that damn song out because it is a hit, bro. I'm telling you. Morgan, you put that shit out. All right. <laughs> B, The Painter by Cody Johnson. Cody Johnson be on some shit, y'all. Y'all know about the Cody Johnson. Y'all need to listen to him. He good. Uh, C, Fast Cars by Luke Combs. I love me some Luke. And Love You Anyway by Luke Combs, obviously. So is it A, Lies, Lies, Lies by Morgan Wallen, B, The Painter by Cody Johnson, C, Fast Cars by Luke Combs, or Love You Anyway by Luke Combs? C, Fast Car by Luke Combs. And the Painter lies, by Cody Johnson. So I will pour you a shot, sir. Take it all at one swallow. You mean give you half a shot? Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -mm. You want a whole shot? Who am I? Huh? But don't act like I ain't him. Don't act like I ain't him. Hey, you gonna be fooled, dude. Get fooled, dude. Take all right, hey, you got something to say? No. Nah, you got nothing to say? You just gonna take it? Hey, thanks to our Rainbow Cups. By Mel Mel. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Mel Mel. Was that good? Was it good? Guys, all right. Thank you for joining our fourth Free Loop show. Free Loop, uh, bitch. People on TikTok, please go check it out. Um, at 
Kentech World. Kentech World on YouTube. No, World of Kentech on YouTube. And World of Kentech on you on uh TikTok. And what's our free blue show on? Free Lou, Instagram. Bitch. What's our free sh <laughs> The Free Loop Show. Free Loop. What's bitch. our handle? On Instagram, you can see all the shows from the first one to now. Um, we got some good stuff coming up for y'all. Some juicy and creamy stuff. What's next? Not have to tune in to find out. Yeah, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. But give it up for Kentek, the famous artist to be. Uh, uh, y'all help him hit, y'all. He's, he's awesome, guys. Check out his music on all streams. Spotify, YouTube, what up? Amazon Music, what up? Game. Huh? Game. Okay, then. Trish Game. Okay, then. Gleeful. Y'all have a good night. Peace out. Free Lou, bitch. Last week I turned the page to 24 And ain't shit changed Except the stress is even more And I shouldn't complain But it's just that I want more And I shouldn't complain But I know I deserve more Last night I threw a party So excuse my home decor I've never had love From 0 to 24 And I've been getting high For the sake of being poor Testing one, two, testing one, two. Free Lou, bitch.